Well, certainly hope your uh, New Year's Eve is off to a nice start. We're talking weather now with Chief Meteorologist George Lessons. Uh, rocking the bow tie tonight. Looking good, George. Uh, for those who are out there going to hit the town tonight, what are we talking weather-wise? Uh, it should be okay. You might get sprinkled on. There might be a snowflake, but for the most part, I think everyone should be just fine weather-wise. Might get a little slick off to the north, though, very late tonight. Let's take a look at the radar. Just cloudy skies throughout the day today. Temperatures well above freezing, but you can see there's a little bit of light precipitation coming in from the west. Little upper level system just zipping by, uh, producing uh, a little bit in the way of some light precipitation. Nothing like what we saw last week at this time when we had blizzard conditions. Not anything like that, uh, but that low pressure system that uh, kept the rain in Detroit yesterday has now finally moved to the northeast. Raining in New York City that is expected to end just after the ball drops. Uh, temperatures are above freezing. We're in the mid 30s. Uh, when the precipitation begins, it'll be in the form of a little light rain or light snow, and that will be later on tonight. Otherwise, closer to home, it's down to 30 up in Big Rapids, 37 though down in Three Rivers, 36 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, and 34 here in Grab and Rapids. Uh, temperatures tonight are going to be falling down down into the uh, around 29 to 31 with that mixture of light rain and snow along the lakeshore uh, north zone. You can expect a little light snow here, maybe a little light rain mixed in uh, around Greenville and Fremont. And here in the greater Grand Rapids zone we will be in the upper 20s to low 30s overnight tonight. What's ahead for the first day of the new year? We'll talk about that and a much bigger storm coming our way for Tuesday. Perhaps some record highs. So we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Our Chief Meteorologist George Lessons out there on the weather deck with that 13 on your side New Year's Eve forecast. Uh, what are we looking at out there, George? Uh, it should be pretty quiet, although, Charlie, we might see a little light wintry mix before the night is over. Don't think that'll have much uh, impact on your activities, however. Let's take a look ahead to the New Year's Day forecast. 13 weather ball is red. A little bit milder weather ahead, climbing back into the 40s. It's also blinking bright for that wintry mix in sight. And this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Highs today, very early in the day, upper 30s to around 40. We dipped into the mid 30s this afternoon, but that was within uh, one degree of our forecast high, and that has been done two days in a row now. Looking at 2022, we are going to end up colder than average for the year, below average precipitation, above average snowfall because of a very snowy November and last couple of weeks, and below average sunshine for the entire year. 30 day outlook is issued at the end of the month. It looks like January is going to have high chances for warmer than average temperatures, continuing what uh, we're going to see here next week, and high chances that we'll continue to see more precipitation than usual most likely uh, also including some rain along with that snow. Well, we have that little bit of light snow and wintry mix developing off to our west, and that's going to be pushing through later on tonight. I'm thinking after about 10 or 11 o'clock, we might see a few light snow pellets or sprinkles, and then that will continue into the morning hours. Hour by hour, you can see that these uh, snow showers are going to start to move across the lake. This is right around midnight tonight. A mixture of some rain at the lakeshore, a couple of snowflakes. These are all just very, very light light returns and then by daybreak it's all moved well to our east and the rest of the day on Sunday should be fairly quiet all the way up until Sunday evening and then on uh, Tuesday we're going to start to see some rain move in actually it'll be Monday night into Tuesday this is going to be a big impact system with maybe over an inch of rain and then behind that we're going to see a little bit of light snow on Wednesday and into Thursday uh, the amount of precipitation we're expecting overnight tonight is generally a tenth of an inch or less and then as we get into Monday, Monday night and Tuesday, we could see over an inch of rain in many locations. Fortunately, all of the snow has melted and we're already run into the river shed. So we got a couple of days before this rainfall also moves into the river shed. It's just probably going to leave the uh, uh, river levels at a little bit of a high level. So for tomorrow, a wintry mix in the morning, that should be ending very quickly, however, just after sunrise. Uh, temperatures will climb eventually into the low 40s, between 41 and 40 at the lakeshore. Up north, you can expect that wintry mix to end shortly after sunrise. Highs around 40 along US 10, 42 Fremont, 43 in Greenville, and from Grand Rapids southward, around 43 to 46. Uh, the morning uh, light to rain and snow will move to the east and also uh, push to the east of Lansing by after about 10 o'clock in the morning. 13 on your side forecast. 
And then on Monday, it'll be a dry day with rising temperatures to 47 late in the day, continuing to rise to perhaps near record highs on a Tuesday with a few scattered showers. On Wednesday, we might see a little snow on the back end of that, but mainly cloudy skies. And then Thursday will be sunny. As we get in closer to next weekend, looks like now we are going to start to see some light snow move in, and that will last through Sunday night. And then another bigger chance the following Tuesday night.